dum dum, diddle dum dum, diddle dum dum, diddle dum dum. There was a turtle by the name of Bert, and Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. He duck and cover, duck and cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you. Duck and cover. Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and cover. This is an official civil defense film produced in cooperation with the Federal Civil Defense Administration and in consultation with the Safety Commission of the National Education Association. Produced by Archer Productions, Incorporated. Hey, Bert, come on out and meet all these nice people, please. Oh, all right. We really can't blame you. You see, Bert is a very, very careful fellow. When there's danger, this is the way he keeps from being hurt. Sometimes it even saves his life. That's why these children are practicing to duck and cover, just as you do in your school. We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it, just as we are ready for many other dangers that are around us all the time. Fire is a danger. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. But we are ready for fires. We have a fine fire department to put out the fire. And you have fire drills in your school, so you know what to do. Automobiles can be dangerous, too. They sometimes cause bad accidents. But we are ready. We have safety rules that car drivers and people who are walking must obey. Now, we must be ready for a new danger. The atomic bomb. First, you have to know what happens when an atomic bomb explodes. You will know when it comes. We hope it never comes, but we must get ready. It looks something like this. There is a bright flash, brighter than the sun, brighter than anything you've ever seen. If you are not ready and did not know what to do, it could hurt you in different ways. It could knock you down hard or throw you against a tree or a wall. It is such a big explosion, it can smash in buildings and knock signboards over and break windows all over town. But if you duck and cover like Bert, you will be much safer. You know how bad sunburn can feel. The atomic bomb flash could burn you worse than a terrible sunburn, especially where you're not covered. Now, you and I don't have shells to crawl into like Bert the Turtle, so we have to cover up in our own way. First, you duck, and then you cover. And very tightly, you cover the back of your neck and your face. Duck and cover underneath a table or desk or anything else close by. In Betty's school, they are talking about the atomic bomb, too. Betty is asking her teacher, how can we tell when the atomic bomb may explode? And her teacher is explaining that there are two kinds of attack, with warning and without any warning. We think that most of the time we will be warned before the bomb explodes, so there will be time for us to get into our homes, schools, or some other safe place. No matter where we live, in the city or the country, we must be ready all the time for the atomic bomb. Duck and cover. That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. The next important thing to do after that is to stay covered until the danger is over. Yes, we must all get ready now so we know how to save ourselves if the atomic bomb ever explodes near us. If you do not know just what to do, ask your teacher when this film is over. Discuss what you could do in different places if a bomb explodes. Older people will help us as they always do, but there might not be any grown-ups around when the bomb explodes. Then, you're on your own. Remember what to do, friends. Now tell me right out loud. <laughs> 